Hey guys, welcome to Shooter Opinions. And in this little video, I'm gonna go over a couple of different stock options that are out there for, for a build kind of like this SBR. Um, obviously with an SBR, you want something that's super short and compact. Um, and that's exactly what I'm going for here. This is a Voltor receiver set um, with a Noveski uh, 10 inch 300 blackout barrel, Daniel Defense handguard, and uh, US Optics one to four scope. And um, has a WMD guns bolt carrier group. So, with that said, I mean this is this is a really high quality build, really good high quality components, and uh, and now it's time to put a, a really good stock on there. And obviously, all the ones I show you here, they're all really really good options. It's just going to come down to what feature sets do you want, and then what looks really good on the build that you have. So, with that said, I got this is a Fab Defense GL Core S. We have the Voltor iMod. The Fab Defense GL Core, the SOP Mod. This is a Bravo Company or a B5 SOP Mod, and then the Magpul ACS L. So again, all these stocks are are really good to choose. It really comes down to size, looks, and what feature sets that you really need. So that said, let's jump into here to the GL Core S. What I really wanted was uh, I need flush cups. That's all I really really need, and then short and compact. Uh, the GL Core S is the shortest of all of these stocks here, um, and it has the flush cup. It's it's really well built. You can feel that it's it's a solid stock. Like I could beat this off the ground; it's not going to break. You can just you can just feel that. Um, it has this this rubber butt pad on here. It's thin. It doesn't. It's no more, no less than you really need. It's it's uh, it feels like it has a lot of grip into your shoulder, and and this angle, like if you if you're shooting low or up, you're gonna have a little bit of uh, space in your shoulder. So this is the GL Core S uh, from Fab Defense. So to take that, to adjust it, just got this button here. Just a natural spot where you grab, you got it. And to take it off, pull that down, and it just slides off. So next up, this is the iMod from Voltor. Um, Second shortest. This this one runs about seventy five dollars. Um, if you need it even shorter, you can take this butt pad off, but then you wouldn't have any any rubber on there. But it does shorten it up by about a quarter inch. It has some battery storage, and uh, what I ended up using this for is, is I'd roll up my NFA paperwork and stuff it into that battery storage. Um, obviously, in the military you need batteries to pair your nods or, or optics or, or whatever you have and you need to have it now it needs to be on you you don't have time to ruffle through your your backpack or your rucksack it's like when your shit goes down you just need to get it and having battery storage on hand is super important um, being a civilian not operating not doing anything i don't have the need for battery storage as much anymore and i'd rather go for like a slim line um, the voltor i mod you can take this off you can see the hinges there um, but anymore now, I'm just looking for for clean. So this is just a, a cleaner look. So I'm, like I said, going with the Fab uh, GL Core S on this. But Voltor, awesome stock. I have several of them. I'm not going to give them up anytime soon. Um, the Fab Defense GL Core, the big brother of the GL Core S. All the same features. A little bit thicker butt pad. It's just uh, slightly longer. You can tell it's just. Um, it's just bigger, so it's going to balance out maybe a full-size carbine a little bit better. Looks great on this SBR, but just a little bit bigger for maybe you have a bigger body or you just want visually to look a little bit more balanced, depending on your rifle. But it has uh, the QD flush cup, thicker butt pad, got that nice arc to it, and uh, there you go, the Fab Defense GL Core. Take that off. And then the B5 SOP mod. This is a great stock. It's I mean it's a it's a standard out there. Great stock, a little bit bigger. Does have uh, does have battery storage built in, no hinge, so you can't take it off. You just have that battery storage or uh, NFA paperwork storage, whatever you need. Rubber butt pad, does have a QD cup. Pretty standard adjustment on it great stock like it, you can get these for about a hundred dollars um 
easy on, easy off with battery storage. So yeah, the the SOP mod. Take that off and we'll go to the last one. This guy here is uh, the ACSL from Magpul. You have uh, storage here for EarPro, Pogi Bait, some cleaning supplies, batteries, NFA paperwork, whatever you got. You got some storage there for it. Um, you can throw that thing on there. It is the biggest one of the bunch. Um, to me, it looks a little bit big for an SBR, but you can see how it's, uh, I mean, it's two and a half inches bigger than the uh, the GL Core S. Uh, great stock, made by Bag Magpul. Magpul makes some really good stuff. Um, it has a flush cup that you can actually bolt onto it. And, you know, just really easy. One thing with this one, if there's a little bit of wobble and you don't want that, you can lock it and it takes that wobble out gives you a little bit more positive cheek rest if you're shooting precision rifle um, but yeah the Magpul uh, ACSL and you can get those for about $70 I believe so so there you have it I mean there really is no bad options it's just gonna come down to what feature sets you really like but uh, you got Magpul, Fab Defense, Voltor, the SOP mod what looks good and uh, what feels good and what gives you the feature sets what, what you're gonna really want to get um, for this build and what you're probably going to see if I'm going to do any more videos I'm going to have this Fab Defense GL Core S just because it is the shortest one out there and it's only $50 so go ahead and take that off and there you go the GL Core from Fab Defense that one's going to stay on there for a little bit a little while uh, got all the features I need it's the shortest thing out there I get it for $50 so I can pick up a couple of them and put on my different rifles. So with that said, if you guys have any questions, comments, feedback, other stocks that I need to consider, pop them into the comments below. Um, if you're liking the content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And, um, and with that said, hopefully this helps you out and uh, maybe we'll see you at the range.